Choo! That's the game we're playing. Welcome back, guys. We are in the third level of the second world. This is called Deep Dark Menacing Light. There's something finally be hidden behind here? No, no, there isn't. Even though this time this back area was a lot more elaborate than before. Let's continue our adventures. We lost our two buddies, Okoro and Kila, who were really cool last time. So it's just us now. It's just Chu going on ahead. I was um, pleasantly s surprised to not enjoy this fog and stuff. What? Ah, if I'm seeing this correctly, you have to get into this bubble before before that cloud finishes doing that. Interesting. So I was pleasantly surprised to find, you know, when I was recording last time, I was a bit um, confused. Yeah, I think that's the gimmick here. We had to get to these bubbles every time. Um, that, you know, I was unsure was... Shu, a he or a she, and I went to the developer CodeSync's website, and they are similarly non-committed. They, they had a little bio for the various characters, and Shu is referred to as a they. So, there you go. Shu is Shu. Okay, just stay cool. I don't like this. This is scary, this gimmick in this map. Especially, it's really short, too, the uh, time you have. I bet there's something secret up here. Yes, there is. It's the first babby. Oh, no. Hunting through side areas with this weird cloud effect. That's not going to be pleasant at all. Oh, no! Totally get that one butterfly. I just need to ride back up here and stay cool. We're gonna wait for the platform to come up so we don't have to be in such a hurry coming back down. Well, we were in quite a hurry. Ah, an enormous area of freedom. What's over here? Nothing. It just looked like there might be something interesting over there. Ow. I made a dum dum. Okay, there's the next bubble. Let's go. Oh no, I screwed up fearsomely. Okay, now I see the flash happens and then you die. I think it's safest to go forward and then backtrack back to that baby there. So, because you can see there's a bubble right here. I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> oh, and then we'll grab the baby. Yeah, that was a lot better than trying to get to the babby on the first go. Keep flow going. Ooh, a checkpoint, thank goodness. Checkpoints have been a bit uh, light in this level. You'll of course recall that there were several of them all the time in the previous levels, but I feel this one they've been a bit more spare. All right, third babby. Also, really interesting, I don't know. God statue, whatever this thing is. But we couldn't interact with it. So never mind. Okay, stay cool, stay cool. Let's go. Well, never mind. It looks like there's a lot of checkpoints. I'm just not noticing them as prominently in this level. You know you know what I think I realized the checkpoint system is after all? It's it's not not the hundred butterflies. Because I noticed when I died one time earlier, uh, one of the bells dropped on the checkpoints. And you'll notice that there are... <clears throat> you'll notice that there are five bells on the checkpoints. Or, I don't know, I think there's five of them. So I think you just get replenished to five... Five, um... Lives every time you get to a checkpoint. An interesting system, certainly. Took me a while to notice, but sure, why not have a system like that? How do I get to you up there, little fella? How the heck do I get over to that guy? I wonder if I missed him already. 
I should have used some of it, but I'm hoping I can use that platform there to maybe backtrack. It looked like there may have been a route up there. Yeah, this looks... this looks... yeah, okay. Okay, Babby percentage is very good for this level. Oh god, oh god. No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. No, these Rafflesias, though. Something over to that side, though. You can't stand on these uh, platforms, can you? No, you can't even stand on the god statue there. Okay. Oh, no, I missed a butterfly. You see here, there's five bells there. Yeah, now I see them clearly, now that I bothered to count, so... I think that's what's going on with the lives in this game. Also, I was really scared for a second there. I was really cutting it close, getting into cover on that one. I, you know, I thought we were going underground. I guess we didn't. I just got deep dark. I thought we were underground, but no, we're actually just in our. Ow, uh, that was poorly planned on my part. We're just in a rather spooky part of the woods with awful weather, awful inclemental weather. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh! I... What? How do you avoid that one? Ooh. Scary sound effect there. Aha! Okay. Just gotta wait my time before I glide it, alright? Okay, yeah, see there, we had three lives a second ago, I touched this checkpoint, we're back to five. So never mind the whole butterfly thing, it was pure coincidence that I happened to have a hundred, hundred butterflies every time I happened to look at my life counter and notice that, oh, what do you know, I got a, I got five lives again, or, or one life more. Interesting system, uh, I'll give you that. Um, oh! Oh, there's something down here! Final Babby! I thought for a second I was <laughs> in a bottomless pit and basically floating to my death. Ooh, 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 uh, there, I got them all. Shame I missed the one though, so it doesn't matter even if I get all the butterflies now. Well, as long as I get the gold medal, that, that'll feel good. I, yeah. Ooh. It's some primal video game instinct. You can't let one go, if, if at all possible. <laughs> Tremendous. Oh, you can see I have a bit of a different looking achievement thing now. I'm not sure why. Something to do while I was sitting off my controller. I'm not a fan of it, to be honest, but whatever. Oh, I missed a lot of butterflies. I bet it was on the way to get the slab. I didn't even notice anything which looked like away to the slab. Oh snap, I just noticed. Now the thing has Xbox prompts instead of PlayStation prompts. Can I... Can I fix that? Nope, sorry guys, I tried messing around, but I just... Just tried to messing around a bit with... But now it thinks I have an Xbox controller connected instead of a PlayStation 4. I shouldn't have messed with Steam's Steam's own thingies, damn it. I'm sorry guys. We had we had proper PlayStation symbols the first time we went through. Hmm. Well we'll carry on this level with the janky controls. I'll try to I'll try to remember what button did what. With any luck, I'll pull through. And by next episode I'll try to get it fixed. Uh, next two episodes I'll try to get it fixed and have the proper prompts there again. Alright, Vulture Cliffs, World 3. Yeah, that was World 2 we were done with. There. Oop, nope. Hey, come on. Oh, only only two levels in, in this world. Wow, this game's even shorter than than I expected. Five worlds and now there's just two in the one world. Alright. Winding Heights, let's go. Also, I got all babbies last episode, that feels good. All right, we've to the made it to the windswept deserty places now. Well, oh, sorry, not desert, obviously, uh, but an arid mountain range, I suppose, with the whole cliff. Ah, that's a, that uh, that was a butterfly mist. 
Boo. Can I make it? I did make it. So everything's good. I'm gonna be very cross if at the end of the episode it says one butterfly missing because of that one I flubbed jumping onto that uh, wind. Wind blast. Oh, hello! What's this place? It's a babby hidey place. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not sure what went wrong there. Uh, I know what went wrong here. It's me being impatient. On account of my one mistake. Oh, this isn't the right one. It's, uh, I think this one. It is the one that goes down to the babby route. Yes, it is. Come on, babby. What the? That's the same mistake twice in a row. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really off my game today. Um, something... Some little elevation thing, I think, threw me off. Because I was trying to jump, but I didn't. All I did was glide. Well, no matter. I just had to do this more carefully. Oh, yeah, I think I'm... Because I'm dropping off of there, and then I hit glide. So that's throwing me off, so... We go nah proper jump Sl small little elevation thing was throwing me off there oh that's a tiny mesa there we go five lives again interesting mechanic now that i see how it works the life thing this is well i guess it's kind of interesting but not super so seesaw thing like a trough, actually. I see you up there, Babby. I also hear that jingling noise, which I think plays when a slab route is nearby. I'm, I haven't confirmed that theory yet, but I feel as if. Ah, I forgot to listen for it when we were adventuring in the last level. That threw me off. Hmm. I feel like I should interact with this bell somehow, but because it's like glowing at stuff. But no, I don't have any attacks in this game or anything, so uh, yeah, don't know what to do. Oop! Doohy. Maybe it's something. Maybe you get like a permanent power later on in the game and we have to wait for that to and then come back to this level doesn't seem like the game works that way really but, but what do i know i mean i wonder what happens now, now that i think about it i didn't think about it before but a lot of those levels i went to started out with me having a bunch of friends with me what if I try to go back to those levels, but um, without my friends hanging out with me? Will they just appear again, because that's how that level worked? I mean, seems like an obvious way to do it, but... Uh, yeah, I saw the babby there. Don't think I didn't, sir. Um, hmm. Another one of those bells jingling up there. Mysterious. Can't wrap my head around it. Oop. Oh, ooh. Nope, nothing down there. Have to look for a second. Oh, there's a there's actually a roof here I can't jump through. Okay. Spidly! Hey there, Spidly. That's quite the Ah, interesting, look at that. He's got bells hanging out of his sleeves. <laughs> it kinda makes me think of the merchant. Welcome! What are you buying? Some bells, eh? Okay, so it's not coming back to the level, it's uh, using him here and now, uh, Spidly. Spidly's powers. So let's go back for a second, why don't we? Since we know that there's a bell you can call down. Um, somewhere around here. Hang on now, where was it? Or was that the one I was thinking? I, I'm not sure, actually. I, th I, th I thought... Okay, maybe maybe that's the one I was thinking of anyway. So we backtrack to it. Maybe. 
I recommend going to um, what was it? Coat, coat tail, coat, coat sink. I think was the group coat something. Well, it, it you can probably look it up. Okay, so it doesn't stop. Once it goes, it keeps going. Okay. So um, I recommend going to Code Sync's website for this game shoe because it has like little bios for all of the even these like side characters, which I think is really kind of kind of nice. So like, um, oh, I don't remember her name anymore, but it was um, it was the 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 second friend we found the the lady who made the flowers bloom like. Like, you know, her bio is something that she's like a teenager looking to become a singer, and hence... Yeah, so... What? How, how did I change the direction of that? I don't know how I changed the direction of that. I think I was me doing it again, but it's not working anymore. Okay, there we go. So you need to have some distance from it, apparently. Or when you're approaching it? Uh, oh, anyway, I can control the direction of that arrow with um, Spidley's bells. Good to know. So yeah, her bio is like she's like a teenager and she wants to become a singer or whatever. And her, her lovely song makes flowers bloom. It's Wait a second. Look at this side area. Bingo. I think for a second what the heck I was doing. <laughs> Picking up my buddy, of course. My little baby. And, and it looked like all of the characters had um, little bios there, so... I think it's really nice. I recommend you look it up. Uh, so these are like the Rafflesia plants, except with the whole cliff theme. Okay, they do return at some point. I was going to say, it doesn't look like they return, but they do. Ooh, ooh my. No way to... Oh, okay! <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's just straight to your doom into the dark depths, which means we just kind of want to do this. Okay, not to self. Don't go in the... Uh, uh, yeah. oh, okay, so we're not allowed to take the bottom route, but we are we do need to use the... Hmm. We do need to use the elevator like so. Here we go. Oh! Okay, so it does go back and forth. A drum, okay. Uh, instead of the uh, sea squirts that we had in the previous levels. Didn't we have sea squirts in the forest, though? Well, I guess they weren't sea squirts. No, we had, like, mushrooms instead, I think. Am I remembering that right? I think we had, like, mushrooms there. Oh, hang, hang the heck on. There's Was there something to the top? Ah, uh -huh, nuts. Earb! Hello, Earb. Hmm. Oh. Double jump. Okay. So that A is apparently the X on the PlayStation controller. Oh, this is awkward. It was so much better the first time. Remember, we had all the right button cues there. Well. Just gonna make do. I know there was a platform there, um... Oh, there wasn't a platform. I thought I saw a moving platform that I was waiting for. Oh, you had to jump. Okay, I was like... Nothing up there. Now, can I glide after the... Okay, I can glide after the second jump, which is... Good to know. Something to the left? Don't think so. Music changed again. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was scary for a second. Well done, game. Oh! Speaking of scary. 
I was gonna say, this is only the first level, but okay, there's only two levels in this map, so... Okay, that that's tough. I have to let the thing... Have let this one do that. Oh, you know what? I I bet we're missing. Oh, I bet we're missing babbies because I didn't bother checking down there. I, I I reviewed previous footage and there's totally some babbies off to the side while the monster's chasing you. In fact, I think we failed on Operation Get All the Babbies. Let's see now. One, two, four. Yeah, only four. That's the best I can do. Breathless at the precipice. Exciting. Exciting times. We didn't get that cloud banishing thing or storm banishing thing last time, so... I wonder... I wonder, I thought, I was kind of half expecting it to be chasing us at the start of the episode, but the episode, the level, sorry. It's interesting mechanic that um, we switch out the powers we have depending on the guys we save, and it's only for some of the levels. In these types of games, you often you just collect more and more powers, and, and they just kind of stack. For example, the Rayman games that I talked about previously. It's not like the buttons are the premium, like, not enough button keys to assign them. Because the only one that's been overlapping so far is Irb here doing his, um... No, not Irb, um, the club bell guy. Spidley's bells, which used the circle button. Which is also what, um... Whoa, which is also what the singer and her, um... Oh, I see you right there, Storm. Don't try to hide from me. The singer and her flower petal opening thing also used the circle. But the square has been so far unused this whole game, the square button, so it's not like you couldn't have assigned those two there. Also, I was thinking, Urbis double jump uses an express, and the cart guy uses the second express, but that was down and X, so that's still a different. I guess it's so... it's... I guess it's so more focused on having really specific gameplay mechanics to deal with, or something that that they decided to have it um, decided to have only like limited powers per level per the character you have. Oh, I see the problem here. We need to press these buttons before, or else the rope's gonna carry us on into the awaiting clouds of destruction. See what you're going for, game. That's also really creepy, the arms reaching out. What it kind of reminded me of, I thought about for a while, is um, the later Kirby games, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2 and 3, where you have all those animal bodies and you get to choose. But those aren't, those levels aren't dependent on having a specific animal buddy. It's, um, it's just what your preference is for using. You can pick whatever animal you want. Actually the same with Kirby's power copying in general anyway, now that I think about it. Uh huh. It's a good thing I pressed that. There was nothing but doom that way. And this way. And this isn't exactly the most complicated of gameplay. <laughs> but... Sure, I'll take it. This is... Uh, this is a bit spooky though. We'll just escape these clouds like so. Is this part of the storm? It's the same color palette and and cloud shape, so I have to assume. I just wonder why he stopped giving chase and is now just hovering around here. I see you, Babu. Okay, we got... That's actually... We went for a long time without getting a babby, but um, we're still on track for now. Where was the first babby? I completely missed picking up a babby number one. Also, in platforming games, double jump is probably my favorite power in general. Maybe after hovering, which we have here. Um, I don't know, I think double jump is still even better. It provides so much control in the air. So I'm gonna hate when Irb is gone. I really like the, being able to double jump. There we go. That's more like it. 
just wait for that to lean back this away. Like that's when the Crash 2 and 3 get really good too, is once you unlock the... No wait, what am I talking about? Crash 2 doesn't have a double jump, I'm sorry. But, you know, Crash 3, um, when you beat Dingo Dial, you get the double jump that immediately feels really good to have that power in your skill palette. There was something swinging to the side, so how do we get to that one? How do I get to you, Babby? Oh, I should have used these ones. There's no way I can do it anymore, is there? I screwed this one up, didn't I? Well, hang on. There's still a chance, I believe! There's no way. That Babby's doomed. I am so sorry, Babby. I didn't realize I had to use those um, corkscrew thingies to get to him. And this one isn't providing enough height either. Oh, this one just might. Oh, once more from the top, I believe! Man, that's dependent on the platform's movements. I think I could make it if I time it just right, but how do I time it? Because I can't see the stupid platform coming back at me. Well, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't worry about this. Or should I give one more try, guys? Ah, let's do it. Uh, at the top of my jaw. What? What? Wait, what? I wasn't. I was holding down on my. Um... Ah. I... Okay, that's enough tries. I, I was holding down. I couldn't tell. So I was holding down on my stick. That was slowing me off. Uh, ew. I'm almost in the reach of those hands. Why does the butterfly have to be so close? I am not a fan. Oh, right. Let's get that. Whew. Ah, Mr. Butterfly. That stings. Oh no, music changed again, which means... Run! God, the way that thing just pops like that. I am not a fan. It's... Somewhat unpleasant. Yeah, I missed another butterfly. What you gonna do? Oh, that babby I could have taken, but I was in too much of a hurry to get away from this storm. I mean, can you really blame me? Adios, muchacho. Oh! Ah! I was just celebrating like, wow, this is like the longest I've ever gone in a single run from the storm. Without him getting us. Oh! One new item in my inventory. Great. Hey, checkpoint, please. Ah, another babby! Oh, I didn't use Irv's double jump for that. Mm. 